ஹெப்பட்டைட்டிஸ் பி சர்ஃபேஸ் ஆன்டிபாடி ஹெச்பிஎஸ் ஏபி டெஸ்ட் இஸ் அண்ட் மெடிக்கல் லேப் டெஸ்ட் லுக் அட் திஸ் பிக்சர் ஷோஸ் தட் வாட் இஸ் தி ஹெப்பட்டைட்டிஸ் பி சர்ஃபேஸ் ஆன்டிபாடி டெஸ்ட் டிடெக்ட்ஸ் ஆன்டிபாடிஸ் தட் தி இம்யூனோ சிஸ்டம் ப்ரொடியூசஸ் இன் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் டு தி ஹெப்பட்டைட்டிஸ் பி வைரஸ் தீஸ் ஆன்டிபாடிஸ் ஆர் நோன் ஆஸ் ஆன்டி ஹைஸ்பிஎஸ் ஆர் ஹைஸ்பிஎஸ் ஏபி தி ப்ரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹைஸ்பிஎஸ் ஏபி டிபிக்கலி இண்டிகேட்ஸ் தட் தி பர்சன் ஹாஸ் எய்தர் recovered from a past hbv infection or successfully responded to the hepatitis b vaccination used for one confirm immunity determine if a person is immune to hepatitis b either from vaccination or from recovering from a prior infection to post exposure testing assess whether a person has developed immunity after being exposed to hepatitis b 3 monitor vaccine effectiveness evaluate the effectiveness of the hepatitis b vaccine especially for healthcare workers and others at risk for check for recovery confirm that someone has recovered from a hepatitis b infection and has developed immunity why do need of this test one check immunity to know if you have developed protective immunity against hepatitis b to monitor treatment progress if you were treated for hbv the test will determine if your body has produced enough antibodies for immunity three work requirements for healthcare workers and people in high risk occupations this test is often required to ensure immunity for after vaccination it confirm whether the hepatitis b vaccine successfully produced immunity what happens during the test the hbs ab test is a simple blood test the procedure typically includes a healthcare provider draw a sample of blood from a vein in your arm using a needle the sample is sent to a laboratory for testing the whole process takes only a few minutes how long for results typically the result of an hbs ab test are available within a few days to a week depending on the laboratory and healthcare provider preparation for this test there is no special preparation needed for the hbs ab test you can eat and drink normally before the test unless your 
health care provider gives your specific instructions risk 2 the risk associated with the hbsb ab test or minimal and generally related to the blood draw itself including slight discomfort or pain at the needle site brushing or bleeding at the puncture site feeling light headed or dicey in rare cases results for one positive hbs ab reactive this indicates immunity to hepatitis b either through vaccine or recovery from a previous infection we are protected from future hbv infections two negative hbs ab non reactive this indicates that you are not immune to hepatitis b you might need a hepatitis b vaccine or further testing to check if an active or chronic infection is present no more about this test consult your health care provider they can provide more details specific for your situation and help interpret your results centers for disease control and prevention cdc and world health organizations offer extensive resources on hepatitis b and its management thank you have a nice day